Hello, this is Janelle Mann from the University of Manitoba, and today I'm going to show you how to use Gretel to create a histogram as well as a scatter plot. First, we need some data. To open up data in Gretel, click File, Open Data, and then we're going to use a Gretel data file. My data is called finaldata.gdt, which is the Gretel extension. You can see here that we have four variables, which are four different data series. Beans, bean spec net, corn, and corn spec net. This is a data series that I'm currently working on with one of my research papers. The first thing we're going to do is create a histogram of the variable beans. To do this, click on beans, then click on variable, and then frequency distribution. This is just the name that Gretel has given a histogram. Now what we need to do for the histogram is select the number of bins. This is the number of vertical lines in the histogram. Here we're going to use 35, but the number depends on your data series, specifically on the number of observations in the series. We're going to collect show data only and then show plot. Here is our histogram. You can see across the horizontal axis is the series beans. On the vertical axis here is relative frequency. If you would like to change anything in the graph, you can right click on the graph and select edit. It's always a good idea to place a title of the plot right in Gretel. Later on, if you move this to another type of document, a Word document or a PowerPoint document, you can always crop the plot, but this will help you to remember exactly what you did. You can also choose a title for the x-axis and y-axis, as well as some other details. Once you're finished, you click OK, and then you have your histogram. One final thing, if you're going to be moving your histogram into another type of document or would like to save it, you can right click on the graph and you have many options. Some are for saving or you can also copy to a clipboard. In addition to creating a graph, Gretel actually gives you the, the exact numbers that are used to create the histogram. So here are the intervals for the bins. It gives you the frequency, which is the number of observation in each bin, and some other information. Now let's create a scatter plot. To do this, we want to click on View, Graph sp Specified Variables, and then XY Scatter. Select the variable that you want as the X axis, and then the one as the Y axis. Now click OK. So here you see in red all of the combinations of bean spec net and beans. This blue line here is a least squares fit line. Typically when creating scatter plot you don't want this there. To remove it, you right click on the graph and click edit. And now you will want to remove the fitted line. Also you can create a custom title the X and the Y axis, you can change the labels. You can also change some other elements of your graph to make it look nice and professional. So this is the scatter plot. We do not want to have the X, uh, the line of best fit. We just want to have the X and Y coordinates. And again, to save this graph, you right click and you have many saving options and you can also copy it to a clipboard. This wraps up the Gretel video describing how to create a histogram and a scatter plot. This is Janelle Mann signing off.